Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today we are in the Master's House. That's right, the House Master of Upper Echelon Mediocrity, the man that built the Temple of Average, Clown 4300. And, um, you know, he's going to, this, this house, I've done a video about it before, and um, it's amazing. His personal house, this is his primary residence, and um, he's going to tear it down. So, <laughs> I wanted to get a, you know, like a record of how amazing this house is. And there's a lot of stuff, Clown, you know, you were, you showed it to me again. And I noticed that there's just a ton of stuff in here that you had done. Because when I made the video, you said it actually wasn't finished, right? That is correct. Um, there was a uh, back room that wasn't completely finished. There was uh, the very tail end of the house that also wasn't done at a corridor that wasn't done either so the house is completed now it has all 700 furnishings in it and it's going to pain me as time goes on to take stuff out of this house to put into the newer house oh my god i can imagine it must be painful yeah so i mean i guess every artist does that you know uh, like picasso said art is never finished only abandoned and uh, you're going to need all the Absolutely. materials for the new Panther Fang Chapel, right? Yeah, um, I actually have a really big idea that I want to do with that house, and it's going to take me several months to do it. And with the amount of furnishings that I have in this house, um, and the new house being, well, going to be the new primary, I might as well just take the furnishings out of here and put them to better use into or into the new house. So, right. Um, well, the yeah. guild is... Uh, Upper Salon Mediocrity is going to buy you that house. And, uh, of course, if any guildies want to donate, that'd be great. Just uh, donate to the bank. Uh, put a one gold on the end of it so we know it's for the clown fund. But uh, no matter what, we're going to get that for you for making us the most beautiful guild house in the world. All right, so let's get started. You want to take us around? Give us a quick tour of the outside and then show us some of the some of the uh, features that you've added since uh, the last video. Okay. Um, well, as everybody can see, this is the entryway into the Sigic Villa itself. Okay. And one of the first ideas that I had for this house was to make it very presentable. So when you first come in, I tried to make everything very vibrant. And a lot of people don't know, because uh, it's kind of hidden. Unless you turn a complete 360 from when you come into the house. Right. You can and don't forget to tell them garden. about something that's here that's really rare that the collectors are going to be uh, drooling over. Hey, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> right here behind you. But um, it took me quite some time to actually build this. Everything is well. Yeah, as look as at I it. Get it. <laughs> <It's> all, <laughs> people don't realize that these are all floor tiles. These are the what? What floor tiles are these? That. You, 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 These are elsewhere platform tiles. Right. You just flipped them over and they have this beautiful like marble finish, you know, on the other side. And um, the thing that is it, it's not this. No, it's this statue right here. Uh, clown informed me this is one of the r most rare statues in the game. It's Giuliano's. And, uh, yes, uh, that statue actually came out a little over a year ago. It was only sold one time in the luxury furniture. Wow. And I do believe it was right after the Undaunted event when they released that, when it was only for one day. And, and Julianos is a uh, real god in the game. He's like uh, Lorcan and Jigalag and all those guys. He's the real deal, and benevolent and everything. He's not like the Diedrich princes that always try to mess with people. There's going to be a lot of statues coming pretty soon. I saw the calendar. Like, um, there's a triad of justice. I think it's justice, sovereigns, and I, I can't remember. But it, but that'll be cool. I'll probably be getting that for the for the uh, temple of average. Yeah. Anything else about these guys? The statues or anything? Or you just? I know you like statues. I like. Them. Um. No. Most of these statues you can actually get just playing the game right. itself. Like these Brenton statues come from the Glenumber Achievement Furniture, and the other statues the I do believe you get through. Um, yeah, and I believe these Imperial statues you get through uh, the Imperial City event. Well, I think this house is amazing. You know, you go going to look at. Uh, the regular Sigic Villa, and uh, it doesn't look like this. No, not at all. 
And a neat thing about some of these trees is that they're actually two different colors. If you put it in shadow, they turn blue. But if right. you give it light, they stay purple. See, I can see that. It's blue, very, very blue. But then in the light over here, it's purple. So cool. Yeah. I would just put it all the way purple because I am a big fan of purple. My wife and I, <laughs> that's our favorite color. But the biggest issue with the Citric Villa is that it is absolutely ginormous. You can't fill it with 700 furnishings. Oh, oh, do you think that's and, a problem? Just wait. And The yeah, Panther Fang is going to be exactly like that. Be, I, I mean, it's just, I wish they'd up the limit because it's crazy. Yeah, that would be absolutely wonderful if they did, but I, I really... Now we have to make a stop at the fish tank. <laughs> now, the inside of this house, it took me roughly about a month to get everything, and then anywhere between 40 to 60 hours just to do the, the main entryway and the sides. I mean, the detail is crazy. Just crazy. All this stuff has to be placed and aligned. Oh, and you have a toilet, a four seater. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody, yeah. if you haven't ever seen a fish tank or, you know, the fish tank in our house, Clown did it. But this is amazing. Now, watch when I go into first person. Wait for it. Fish tank. I mean, that is just stunning. Look at that. It's amazing. And uh, what were you saying? That blue make that. What are the? What's the name of the light that makes that? Blue? It is the blue. It's the Azura Plasm light. It is a very, very bright blue light. Uh, I actually sink it, in, and as you can see, uh, the blue light still comes through the walls and lights up not only the fish tank but the corridor and the upper corridor. Right. It's amazing. Uh, those are sold through the luxury furniture. I haven't seen them. Well, if they ever come back, let me know because I want to get two of them for our fish tank, two or three. Because, I mean, even if it's 300K, it's so worth it because it just gives, really gives the effect like it's water, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you look directly onto the ceiling, uh, like, that Azura light is actually embedded into the wall and right. close to the floor. But it's perfect. And it still goes all the way to yeah, the Yeah, and it looks so cool. It's like it reminds me of, uh, you know, when I was a kid and I'd go to the pool and stuff and it would, uh, oh, that's locked. And then the light's coming up from the pool and it's on the ceiling. That was weird. Couldn't do it. Yeah. This is a, a little crafting corridor. Yeah, but the blue light up there. It's your chill room. Yeah. When you're feeling frustrated, <laughs> come and deconstruct. You'll feel better. Now, in this back corridor, as a full kitchen, the entire thing is a kitchen and a dining room. Okay, this, this is amazing. And <laughs> everything in here. Food on uh, the table. Nice. And this is the kitchen itself. Those house guests always freak me out when I walk in and they're like walking around. I'm like, who's in here? But Very out of everything well in here, I think. kitchen. You got deer and some fowl. I don't know about that uh, chef, though. I'm wondering. He looks pretty sketch. Thinking maybe he didn't wash well, his hands. I don't actually think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And, uh, to be honest with you. Is that a questionable meat sack that he's frying up there? <laughs> We got one of those in the guild house. I put the house guest and the uh, soul shriven as the strippers on our stripper poles. But out of everything in here, I think the thing that I'm most proud about is my wheel of cheese. Believe it or not, the shimmering wheel of cheese. Oh, this the is the really shimmering hard, cheese uh, right here? Oh, this is it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. let me see. Actually turns on and off. Wow, and that's super rare. How much do they yes, sell for in the guild is. store if you if somebody sells it? A little over a quarter mil for a wheel of cheese. Yeah. I I don't know. I wouldn't buy it. I, if I found it, I'd be super happy, though, you know? I, I just think, I don't know, buying it. Interesting. But teach his own. 
This is amazing. Love this kitchen. Got the Alanor fireplaces there. Going in here. And so what's the uh, demolition date set for? Going to be this Friday, as much wow. as it pains me so to do it. All of gonna this, this is going to be gone. Uh, anybody in the guild, if you want to come visit before Friday, get in here because he's going to, when he says he's going to tear it down, he's not kidding. It's going to be gone. Now, this is my wedding chapel. I've actually hosted weddings here. But you're going to be able to really get a Shrine of Mara for the Panther Fang, and that's going to be able to do, uh, you know, they'll be able to bind with the, the Ring of Mara or the, the, the Pledge of Mara in the Panther Fang Chapel house. So that's going to be yes. really cool. And don't go by that house just if we're not, not online yet. If you come on it like five in the morning don't buy it because we're, we're gonna get it for you that's already a done deal no matter what no matter what i know you're excited i know you want to get started it'll be on the 8th right june i mean uh june 8th is the date of the it house should be coming out? uh should be on the what 8th. if they what if they make that's that house is the uh free one no it's too early be there's no way very it's too sad. early but I'm hoping that they're, the free house is going to be something uh, pretty cool. The mount is definitely cool. Is this a vampire bed? No, there's no spikes on it. No. You need to get the turtle. The golden plan with the little turtle that you can open up. <laughs> it takes a chromium plating. You know which yeah, one? Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. Yeah, I know, right? From the media and people here. were asking if they could put pocket lint into it from pickpocketing. <laughs> now, here you go. These are the uh, robes that Clown wears. You don't want to be in here when he's wearing that little red one. You can't unsee that. <laughs> hey, I can make you. I can make the uh, Lalu bathtubs that steam if you need one of those. You can probably make. No, I got a few of those. Yeah, I bet. Ah, uh, a mirror, and I'm not even a vampire, and I can't see myself. It's crazy. But this is the this is the house build. It's gonna pay me to demolish everything, but uh -huh. it must be done. Yeah, uh, it'll be painful nations. while you're doing it. You'll be like crying. Oh, I remember you. But uh, that panther fang, it's gonna be something special. And I love how up there you've got that nim. Is that a nimbus? That is a nimbus. Yes. It looks so cool. That is so awesome. I think I would have to say if if I had to pick like one furnishing that was uh, my favorite, I, I would think you. I think it's the Nimbus. I think it just gives. I like atmosphere and lighting. You know, those like the the lighting that of the azure, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, and then the Nimbus. You know, Joker made a with his Sigic Villa. He has one of those uh, Alanor greenhouses, and then you, you go into it, and it's just uh, his Nimbus is all in there, and you feel like you're in some kind of a tropical forest. Well, all right, Clown. Thanks a lot, man, for yeah. giving us a chance to check this out before you destroy it. And if anybody wants to come see this in real life, <laughs> get in here before Friday because this is going to be done. Is there anything else you wanted to mention about the house or anything like that? No, I think we covered most of it. Well, just an amazing amount of work. I mean, you put the guild house together so quick. It was about two weeks and probably 80 hours of work, you know, and that, I mean, you know, of course the 80 is just being in there and measuring and doing all the stuff, but for real about 50 probably 50 or 60 hours of just like solidly working on it and everybody appreciates it so much and um you know not everybody's got the skill and the patience to do this and uh you've definitely uh, developed your your housing skills which housing is the real in-game in eso everybody knows that. <laughs> i know you agree 
all right everybody so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoy the content leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have any ideas about a video if i like your idea i just might do it join me on discord the most chill discord server on the planet there's a link in the description if you're on xbox one north american server you can join the guild my guild's name is upper echelon mediocrity but we are almost full we have uh 498 total members one member pending 63 members online it's getting really hard to purge people because i cannot tell which people are uh active i can remember some names but 498 people uh, and i'm not on in the afternoon so uh, i'll try to get you in and uh after update 30 we'll be uh purging the inactive members all right so until that time let's get paid